It is the year 2030. Communist Russia has risen again, more powerful than ever. T-Series has surpassed PewDiePie by 20 million subscribers. It is a dark time for America. Not Russia, however. They're in a grand old time. Potato, 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 so many potatoes. I'm so glad we're back to the old communist days. We're so much stronger than America. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those filthy Americans better not try to invade us, otherwise yes. we're going to destroy them. Yes, yes. those filthy Americans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, this is U.S. President Jim Pickens. America is in a rough state. We have ran out of Bush's baked beans, and we're one of the only capitalist countries left. Only us, Sweden, and Canada are left. Every other country has joined the ultimate Soviet Union. I fear America won't last much longer. You almost done? Yep. Okay, you have a meeting in five with Sweden and Canada. Okay. Thank you all for joining me here. We look shelter to Sweden and a blessed rub of Canada. As you may know, New Zealand has finally collapsed and joined communist Russia. We are the only three capitalist countries left. Wait, what about Australia, eh? Australia doesn't exist, no. Oh, you're not. Most of the three spies I have stationed there have all been discovered and taken captive. What are we supposed to do? We don't have much time before we get attacked. I think we should go with the spy idea. Do you have any certain spies in mind? Now that I think of what I do, I'll contact them right away. Okay then, let's move back later, eh? Right? This is yours, President Jim Pickens. We are in need of your service. Please report to these coordinates we are sending to your phone. Get over here quick. What could he need me for? I'm only the head guard of the eastern border. I wonder what I could possibly need. And I'll find it when I need to. Great, you'll start right now. Here, here's the path you'll take. We have a boat that's going over to my country, Sweden, where you then travel down through Denmark, then Germany, then all through these tiny Eastern European countries until you go to Turkey, and then you cut through Iran, Pakistan, until you get to New Delhi, India, where we have a bus driver stationed down there named Moltalal Viswan, who will sneak you up here through China until you can get into Russia, where it's up to you to sneak into the capital and take it down. Why don't we just go to Sweden, then cut through Finland? We are right at Russia. See, I thought you asked. Because this border here is close to a capitalist country, 
is the most heavily guarded one. The reason we're making you take the long way around is because this point right here is the least guarded one. It's Russia's biggest weak point, so you should just be able to sneak on by the guard station there with no problem. Why is this part the weakest? Okay, China is one of Russia's closest allies, so their border is least guarded because they trust each other. Got it. And if I get caught? You'll most likely die. The Soviets aren't very friendly towards spies, so you better not get caught. Understood? Yep. All right then. I suppose I better get going then. Yep, I better show you to your boat. Yeah, so your boat's gonna be right over here. Okay. Yes, yes, Mohammed. American East Coast head guard is leaving now. America's East is more vulnerable than that. America will fall. Make sure to send in all the troops. And make sure Mr. Dave McGee doesn't get anywhere near Mother Russia. He, 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 he. from our Russian leaders that the eastern border is now easier to ambush since the head guard, Dave McGee, has left. Now Dude. is the time to attack. Soon the America will crumble, then all those other foolish capitalist countries that are still left standing will follow. Come on, yes. comrades, we have a country to take. Ah, Sweden, what a nice place. Although, I better find a place to stay before it gets dark. What about here? Hi, sorry to intrude, but I needed some help and I was wondering if you could help me a little. Hey, that dude is Nate Suska? Oh, sorry, I don't speak Swedish. No, I'm nothing with you. I speak English as well. What do you need help with? So I was wondering if you knew the quickest way to Denmark. You see, I run a mission from America. Wait, you're with the Americans? That's good. I know I can trust you now. What kind of mission? I'm not supposed to study. Oh, well, I know the quickest way to Denmark. I can show you if you like, but I'd probably want to do it tomorrow morning because it's getting very dark out. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so you don't have anywhere that I can stay? Well, I mean, I've got a spare room right here. I can show you if you like. Sure. Here it is, right here. Have a nice night. Uh. Good morning. Yeah. Do you have a good rest? on this mission of yours. Eh, uh, maybe. So why are you going to Denmark again? Uh, I'm not supposed to say. I don't care if you're not supposed to say. Just tell me. Okay, I guess. But you have to swear that you won't tell anybody. Yeah, I know, I know. Swear to secrecy, all that. Just tell me. Okay. Well, I'm on a secret mission from President Jim Pickens, and I'm on a mission to invade the ultimate Soviet Union and take it down. What? You can't be serious. You're joking, right? 
No, I'm not. I have a certain path that I have to follow to get into Russia. My first step is going through Denmark, and then I have a list of other countries that I have to go through. Why don't you just cut through Finland into Russia? That's what I said, but apparently it's very heavily guarded. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Have you ever been overseas before? Nope, this is my first time, actually. I could help you. I know my way around Europe. I could be your guide. I'm sorry, I can't. Besides, even if I did bring you along, you would only get in danger. Come on, man. I've been around the entire globe. I know my way around. No way, dude. I don't even know your name. My name is Griffin Musk. You may have heard of me. My father's name is Elon Musk. You know, the guy that brought us to Mars. Yep. That guy. I moved to Sweden a few years ago, but I've been traveling around the world ever since. I really can help you, uh, Mr. Uh... Dave. Dave McGee. I suppose you could come along, as long as you do know the dangers. Yes. Yes, I do. Well, then I suppose, let's go invade communist Russia. Yeah. We're on in three, two, you one, Thank you, Poopy. action. What is up, Pew News Nation? I'm your host, Poppy Harlow. Let's get right into the news! Breaking news! America is being invaded. Russian soldiers have been spotted entering our eastern border fully armed, and there have been reports of cities being attacked by the soldiers. Where is the head guard of the East Coast, Dave McGee? We've tried reaching out to him to see why the Russians got through the border, but sadly, he is nowhere to be found. Now, I'm not supposed to give my opinion, but... This sucks, man! We're all gonna die! We'll keep you up to date as the story progresses, but now to you, Glory. Thank you, Poppy. I'm Gloria Borger. Today's weather is sunny, and we're all gonna die! The Russians have invaded! We're all gonna die! <laughs> Thank you, Gloria. Now, commercial break. Hi, do you like beans? I know you do. America may be low on Bush's baked beans, but we sure aren't. Introducing the new bean, Flex Bean. The super strong bean that definitely doesn't contain extreme levels of acids that definitely won't melt through all your organs. Starting at the low, low price of 420 and are sold wherever beans are sold. To order on the phone, call 507-NOT-ACID. I repeat, that's 507-NOT-ACID. Buy today. Flex Beans and Co. are not in any way responsible for any organ failures due to extreme levels of acid. If you experience extreme pain in all of your organs, it must be something else. Definitely not our beans. If you don't buy our beans, you'll burn in heck. Well, this is the bridge between Sweden and Denmark. You better cross it. This bridge is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Well, we're in Denmark now. Where do you have to go next? Well, according to my GPS, there's Sweden. There's Denmark, and if we are here, we have to go through Germany, then through all the smaller European countries. Okay, well, yep, we better get going then. Okay. Welcome, welcome, comrade. Are you two travelers? I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you. Yes, I would like to report two illegal immigrants from America. Yes, one of them does fit that description. Dave McGee, you say? I'll hold him here until you arrive. Yes, yes, they're in here. I've held them until you arrived. Thank you, comrade. I'll take care of them now. Get back here, you filthy American! You'll die! Yeah, most of 
What is up, Pew News Nation? I'm your host, Poppy Harlow. Let's get right into the news! Breaking news! America has fallen. Almost every major city in the U.S. has been conquered by Russians. The Russians are now taking on the smaller towns. Many have tried resisting, but their attempts are futile because the Russians are way too strong. If you're one of the few left, in our, left watching our show, please just take cover. KGB, open up! Remember, Pew News is the most reliable news source in the world. And we've just left Turkey. We're getting closer and closer to Russia now. Yep. I can't believe there's almost no action during like Germany and all those smaller European countries. I know. Super boring. I know. I'm glad we took the train. I don't know if I could have walked another step. Yeah, me neither. What country are we in now? Well, we just left Turkey, so we must be in Iran mode. Or Iran now. Only a few more countries to go, and then we're in Russia. Yeah, I hear Iran's pretty violent though. So we better be careful. We don't want to get shot. No, really? Yeah. Halt. State your reason for being here. Sorry to intrude. We're heading through to Russia. I have vital information that the Russian government needs to know about. How do I know you're not just regular Americans? What's this vital information that you have? Well, sir, I can't disclose this information with you. Besides, how do we know you're not an American trying to stop my information? Oh, oh, my bad, sir. Stop right this way. Welcome to Iran. If you need any direction, you can just ask me. My name is Stewie Charles. Well, there's Stewie Charles. That seems like an awfully American name. Oh, oh, I assure you, I'm not American at all. Okay, Stewie. Wow, that was really smooth, Dave. I can hardly even tell you were lying to him. You made him really nervous about the whole, like, being a spy thing. Maybe he is actually one of the spies. Maybe. But, I mean... We can't just keep pulling that trick. The other guys won't fall for it. Yeah, you're right. See what I mean? Yeah, you're right. Who could be shooting at us, though? Freeze, American scum. Wait, I'm on your side. Remember? I have a, or I have info about the filthy American. You may also fool the other guard, but not me. I know who you are, Dave McGee. Wait, how do you know my name? It's not your business. Your business now is to die, scum. What are we going to do? We only have one gun, and it's almost out of ammo. Well, I mean... How did he know you were a spy anyways? Like, and what your name was? Got me, but he's dead anyway. We better get moving before more Russians arrive. Yeah, I guess. Welcome, Supreme Leader Ragnarok Kukowski. Thanks, Mohammed. I suppose I should change this my real self. I'm tired of being American President Jim Pickens, while I'm actually the Supreme Leader of the Ultimate Soviet Union. Ragnarok Kukowski. Thank you for meeting me here. While most of the board is off doing other projects, please inform me of what you have done, Mohammed. Well, sir, our invasion of America is going very well. They still don't realize that you're secretly their president, Jim Pickens. Canada's government has completely fallen after you've assassinated Maple Leafs Rupp. Only Sweden is left to be invaded, and which that shouldn't be very hard. Most of America has been invaded. All of the larger cities are taken over. We just have a few more smaller cities, and then we're good. Good, good. Very soon, we'll have the whole world under our control, and then our mission will succeed. They left us back in the day for introducing communism. But look at us now. And what of Dave McGee, sir? You sent him off on a mission while you're pretending to be Jim Pickens, so that you could get the East Coast open to America easy for invading. 
What an idiot. Does he honestly think that he can take down an entire government by himself? Exactly. What an idiot. We do have reports that he's been traveling with someone called Griffin Mutt. Reports also say that he's on a ran right now, walking on foot. You know what? Let's have a little fun. We pretty much control the entire world right now, so it doesn't matter. I want to fly down there and personally assass assassinate Dave McGee and this Griffin Musk. Repair my jet. But, but sir, what if they find a way to kill you? Kill me? How do they get to kill the supreme leader of the United Soviet Union? I said prepare my jet. Right away, sir. No. Is my weapon loaded up? Yes, sir. Nothing wrong with it at all. No faulty parts at all, Supreme Leader. Thank you, General. I'll wait back for you until you track them down. They have to be nearby. Okay, we will do. Whoa, would you look at that? They're right out on the street. What a coincidence. Perfect. It's time. Well, well, well. If it isn't David B. as best pal Griffin Buck. Welcome. Wait, welcome to what? Your execution. Who are you? And what do you want from us? You don't know Ragnarok Krakowski, the leader of the Ultimate Soviet Union? Maybe you'll remember me if I take off this. Wait. Yes, you but wait, why do you want me dead? You fool, I only pretended to become America's president just so I could give them false hope and then later crush them. I only sent you on that suicidal mission to take down the government, to drag you away from America's east coast borders so our army could invade. Even now, most of America is under Soviet control. Communism will reign forever. No, it was all a trap. How could I not see through it? Because you Americans are so small-minded. I'm surprised you even made it this far. And why this Griffin Musk character came with you is beyond me. I came with because I too wanted to free this world of communist flag. You will now pay for what you've done. Let's go, Dave. Griffin! Griffin, are you okay? Not nope, about to die here real quick. But you have to finish this fight. Remember what we're fighting for. What are we fighting for? Bush's baked bean. No! You'll pay for this, you monster! Just give in, Dave McGee. You can't outlast my bullets forever. Ragnarok. I could do this all day! Don't you see, filthy American? Communism always wins in the end. There's no unbelievable comeback for capitalism today. And with that, our story ends. America is completely obliterated by the Soviets, and Sweden soon fell afterwards. As for Dave and Griffin, yeah, there's no coming back alive for them. Communism overtook the whole world, and lasted that way for many centuries to come. We're you hoping for a happy ending, where Dave and Griffin somehow miraculously take down a mega-government that was controlling most of the world, because that's too bad. That's not what happened. The end. Welcome to Tatum and Grace's talk show. Here we will spill all the tea. Hope you enjoy. Will, it'll be cool. Levi, Sean, and Jack. Video. But now it's time for the most important part: the special tea segment. Here we will be telling you all. Here's the mother schooling tea. Okay, first of all, lots has happened this year for the 8th grade girls class. Number one, being someone we shall not name. Not being here. That is okay though. Another thing we have had. All the break ups and all the boy drama. Let me tell you all something if you are a female. Boys are stupid. They literally ruin it. Now here's Grace. Hi. 
I should probably change out of my clothes. I'm tired of... <laughs> 